What's going on guys? It's your boy Jack aka Scissors here. Welcome back to another video today Well the other day I asked you guys to ask me some questions or just something to react to I asked you on Twitter and YouTube to use the hashtag Sizz250 for me hitting 250,000 subscribers So now I'm gonna be answering some of your questions and this should be um, this should be interesting First question comes from evil macaroni s. Are you jealous at other youtubers because they get more views than you? um first of all Initially, yeah, I was jealous. Okay, I was definitely just like, why am I not getting as many views as this person? Why am I not growing as much as that person? You don't, it's not healthy to be jealous, okay? I just turned that jealousy into like inspiration and motivation to try and work harder and get to where that person's at. And that goes like across the board for anything. If you're jealous about why this person is doing this or why this person has this certain thing, don't don't be jealous okay it's hard not to be jealous but if you do have that feeling of jealousy turn it into inspiration to like be being jealous does you no good okay if anything it just gets you down so just try and turn that into motivation to work harder to get what you want that's what i try to do anyway whenever i start feeling jealous of something i just think to myself okay stop that's not gonna do you any good being jealous just try and work towards that and then maybe it'll happen random way to start off this q a let's go to the next question we got ivan Corral. he says will you ever make other videos than just gaming like challenges by the way love your vids keep it up and you're my favorite youtuber well thank you ivan that's awesome that i'm your favorite youtuber but definitely different challenges and different vlogs and videos like that are coming in the future like for example with my brother i want to do some sort of like eating challenge like a 10,000 calorie challenge or some like some crazy challenge like that let me know if you guys want to see that in the future because that that'll for sure be happening that'll for sure be coming in the near future but don't worry okay i'm not like quitting gaming or anything that's not at all my plan next question what was your favorite moment on youtube the initial like sudden spurt of growth okay i was just getting like a hundred maybe actually i was only getting like 20 to 30 subscribers a day and then there was like a week or two period where i was getting maybe a hundred subscribers a day and i was like really hyped about that that was a lot better than i was doing this is keep in mind this is when I had around like 7,000 subscribers or something and then randomly one day one episode of running with scissors just randomly just blew up and I was getting like 7,000 6,000 5,000 subscribers a day and that was the biggest rush like I hadn't experienced anything like that so that was probably my favorite moment on YouTube thus far and then probably the next next thing was either receiving my 100k plaque or actually getting 100 subscribers on YouTube just looking at that six digits that was that was just a great feeling for me so definitely some of my favorite moments on YouTube there next question how much sriracha do you consume in a day jeez I don't know um definitely a lot I mean it's actually funny you ask that because I carry a bottle with me wherever I go like I eat this with every meal seriously this stuff sriracha is so delicious I eat it with almost every meal okay definitely not every single meal but probably like every other meal I don't know but it's definitely one of my favorite foods and condiments out there savage 001 says prank call your nearest pizzeria um okay we're actually gonna do it let's do it guys this is i'm already telling you now this is not gonna go well i'm terrible with prank calls this is oh god oh no <laughs> why am i doing this here we go i'm on hold guys this is all right what what was your name dante dante nice to meet you um so you guys sell pizza um, where am I calling again? Domino's. Okay, um, so your pizza comes with, like, cheese, right? Yes, the pizza do come with cheese. Can I get, like, the cheese on the side? Uh, no, you cannot get the pizza cheese on the side. Why not? Because we don't sell pizza cheese by ourselves. So, like, you can't just not have cheese on the pizza? Well, yeah, you can, put, you can get a pizza with no cheese. Okay, but I can't have the cheese on the side. Correct. But the pizza. Okay, so the pizza comes with sauce. Correct. We have barbecue sauce, pizza sauce, marinara sauce, garlic parmesan, Alfredo. Can I have all the sauces? No, you cannot. I can. How many sauces can I have? You can have one sauce per pizza. So if I ordered like five pizzas, I could have five different sauces. Correct. What about? Can I have no sauce? Can. Okay, could I have a pizza with no sauce and no cheese, please? And what would you like on it? Just the dough. Just the dough? 
just to know. <laughs> Why would you just want just to know? Um, I like dough. You like dough? So you just gonna order a piece with no cheese, no sauce, no toppings, just dough? I yeah. I can do that. What? You can't do that? Nah, I cannot. Wait, why not? I thought you said I could have no cheese, no sauce. With just the dough, it, it's gonna it's gonna ride too much and, and get stuck in my oven. The pizza will get stuck in your oven with just what about like just a little dough? Just a little dough? What's it? Elaborate on that. I mean, not like a full size pizza, but just some dough, just cooked a little bit. Nah, I can't do that either. Jeez, you're not helping me out here. Um, can I have like the uncooked dough? The uncooked dough? You know we don't sell dough either. What if I gave you like fifty dollars? I couldn't have a little bit of dough. Nah, I can't do that. Oh, bro, you're not. You're not. Oh. <laughs> he, he was so sick of me there. Okay, one of the. <laughs> I was giving him such a hard time. See, I just feel bad now. Well, Savage001, are you happy now? I, I did your prank call, okay? You gotta like the video now. I did it for you. Okay, well, that took a little bit of a... That was weird. Um, Judy Berry asks, If you had to eat, marry, eat, who would you choose from the face house? One for each. Dude, wh <laughs> what? Catalyst asks, Would you do a Draw My Life video at one mil? Probably that's like exactly what I'm thinking of. I might exactly do that for one mil if I get there or when I get there. But to answer your question, yes. Jamie Guzman asks, have you ever stolen a street sign? Okay, I picked this question. It's a really random question, but the thing is we've tried, okay? Me and my buddies, all right, story time, story time. I have this friend who has a family picture in front of the street sign in North Dakota that has their last name on the street sign, okay? So they were all posing in front of it. It's their last name, their last name's on the street sign, and he's always said and vowed that he's gonna go back to that street sign and steal it and just like hang it up in his room or something. So we decided it'd be a good idea to all, like there was like six or seven of us, pile into my buddy's minivan. Okay, we also brought like this uh, power adapter so we could play Xbox in the car. We bought an Xbox, or we brought an Xbox, a few controllers, a TV, and we just road tripped. It was just, we made a day out of it. Literally, we all piled into my buddy's car. The guy who wanted to steal the street sign, he brought a bunch of tools, like his dad's toolbox. He had like a bunch of tools, power drills, like pretty much whatever you thought you would need to take down a street sign. We piled into his car and we played video games. We played NHL like almost the entire way there. Keep in mind, this is a three hour plus car ride, okay, just to get there, and then we still have to drive back. I have no idea why I personally joined this trip, okay, I just thought it'd be a fun idea, we I had nothing going on for the day, so we're like, you know what, let's do this, so we all piled into his car, and we got there, okay, keep in mind, this is a three hour drive, we made three hours there, and we saw, we found the street sign, okay, we obviously just like Google Maps it, we found it, and after playing hours and hours of video games in the car, I probably won like 90% of the games, because, you know, I mean, anyway, we get to the street sign and it is a tall street sign like it is not a normal size street sign so we try to get up there and like we didn't have the right tools we tried everything and we just couldn't get it down we tried literally everything i don't i don't know how we couldn't get it down but we couldn't and so we literally drove three and a half hours there to north dakota and we couldn't take down the street signs so we just drove three and a half hours back literally just seven get out of here <laughs> literally seven hour day complete waste of time i mean i had fun doing it don't get me wrong because i've played a lot of video games against my friends but all it was was driving three and a half hours and driving back just a waste of gas money a waste of everyone's time but i somehow had fun and so no i've never stolen a street sign but i have tried ellen ziegler asks will you eat a spoonful of straight up g fuel what i did the pizza prank call i gotta do this and i'm gonna be using tropical rain god i'm actually like kind of nervous i've seen people do this i've never tried it myself why am <laughs> this is a terrible terrible idea i can already like i can already taste it this is weird Oh no, this is, I got, I got some water next to me just in case, but like, why am I doing this? I guess for the views, here we go.
I'm never doing that again. I'm never... I am never doing that ever again. I've already had G Fuel today. Now I just had a little bit more. I literally... Gosh. It tasted so, like, sour. There was just too much. Ugh. That was... Ugh. No. Never again. Never. Why did I do that? That was bad. That was bad, but I could not imagine the cinnamon challenge that just sounds torturous anyway our next question comes from infamous fx how long did it take you to get 1k 10k and 100k subs okay so when i first started my youtube channel i think it was back in 2011 i got like 600 subscribers or something i'm not quite sure what number i was at exactly but then it didn't take very long to get to 1000 from there i started uploading actually i shouldn't say that it probably took one to two months to get another like additional 400 subscribers to get to 1000 took one to two months maybe maybe one month i think i hit 1k subs around september of 2015. so it took about a month or two to get 1k subs and then to get 1k to 10k that took a whole year it literally took an entire year i wasn't uploading every day mind you okay i was uploading maybe twice a week two to three times probably once or twice a week and then when i started really uploading like every single day that's when it started growing a little bit more and then it went from 10,000 to 100,000 in about a month because i hit 10,000 in the very beginning of september and then at the very beginning of october is when i hit 100,000 so it didn't even take a full month luca franklin asks what do you think about the washington capitals being the best in their division let me just check real quick washington capitals oh there we go. Washington Capitals standings. The best in their division. The best in their division. So the best means number one, right? Not number two. Um, well, that's the Eastern Conference. Let me just check the Western Conference. Oh, would, would, would you look at that? Hmm. Okay, so the best in their division. Capitals wild. So the Capitals aren't the best in there but the wild are hmm let me see there you know what i love it okay i love it okay our last question comes from metal zard he asks how did you start off your channel all right well let me show you here okay so as you can see here back july 19th 2011 that's when this first video was uploaded keep in mind that wasn't my very first video uploaded this channel okay i deleted like a, quite a few videos back in 2011 i wish i hadn't i wish i could react to them right now either way this is how i started off youtube okay knifing only hence the name scissors because i was like a knifer back then but anyway let's just watch this real quick i was the king of search and destroy knifing like that's a quad feed and search right there and then wait oh there's one more i'll get the ace really quick like oh my gosh i was literally the king of knifing back in the day like this was this already has 9,000 views okay it only had like 500 when i started uploading in uh in 2015 so you guys must have went back and watched this like i know every detail about this montage like i knife this guy tomahawk this next person knife knife for the quad feed and then I get the ace too. Like, I got so many quad feeds in Search and Destroy. I was so good at this. Oh my gosh, I'm having a crazy nostalgic moment right now because I remember like all these clips. Keep in mind, I didn't like, I didn't record or edit any of this. There's this one guy, his name was LD something. He turned into iDimes. I tried to contact him, find his YouTube channel, but he hasn't, he's like gone. I don't know what happened to him, but um, he recorded and edited all this. I, he just commented on one of my videos like dude you're really good like mind if i record and edit for you and i was like yeah i, I can't do any of that so I'd, I'd love if you did so that's how like all these videos came to be i just sent him clips like through xbox and he would record them edit them and send the file to me to upload to my channel like it was such a good situation for me let me look at this knife montage i think this one's better i don't quite remember this was my old intro yeah i didn't make this either but look at that oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh dude i this is bringing back so many memories right now i was such a good knifer and it was so much fun like i would sit oh dude i would do this for hours this was so much fun i like this montage a lot even though it's like really bad quality right now like i had to deal with that because i didn't have a capture card i couldn't record anything Oh yeah, that nice little transition, dude. <laughs>
Oh my gosh. Some of these, like, I don't know how I would do some of this. Like, look at this right now. Watch this. Oh, 360 dolphin dive. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> it's not like amazing or anything, but I would have so much fun doing this, you guys. And then, of course, you gotta have that third person view right there. <laughs> Dude, Black Ops was such a fun Call of Duty. <laughs> Maybe this isn't better, but it was definitely fun. And oh yeah, the cross map Tomahawks, I would always get them the spawn Tomahawks. Dude, let me just search around. Oh, that was crazy. This is search and destroy, keep in mind. And this is how I end the round. I miss a Tomahawk, but knife, knife, Tomahawk, knife. Oh my gosh, for the final kill cam, like, I was so sick. Look back at that, that one. Okay, yeah. Just, I would always get the spawn Tomox. Like, I had so many of those. <laughs> yeah, editing by, shout out to this guy, by Dimes, even though he's probably not around anymore. No idea what he's up to. But, oh, dude, the memories. Okay, and then this is June 8th, 2015. This is when I first started re-uploading. This is the very first video that I uploaded in 2015. Okay, this is when I started to re-upload again. I took a huge, like, four-year break. I didn't do any YouTube. I still watched YouTube videos, but I just never, like, made them. Gosh, here we go. This isn't, like, good for standards, but this is just... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's just watch this. Oh gosh, the editing. Hey, there's actually a quad feed though. Okay, at least there's something. Yeah, the 360. I think this is something cool too. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Random tom or throwing knife. There we go, bullseye baby. Dude. Oh my gosh. I forgot that I... I loved making even these videos. I loved making montages. I mean, I still do, but I haven't made one in quite a while. I should maybe grind for a montage. What do you guys think? Oh, I remember this. This is just like... <laughs> oh gosh, the editing. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. So oh, this is one of my favorite videos. I don't know why. This was the beta for um star wars battlefront before this game even came out this is the beta and i just made like a little montage for the beta and it's not like good by any means but i just had so much fun like making montages and syncing stuff just oh yeah this is also an old intro i used i kind of like this one i don't know but this is one of my favorite videos i don't know why but it's just so much fun i don't know you guys just watch just watch it's not good by any means that, that right there, that's my favorite. Okay, I gotta restart it already. It's only 54 seconds long, but that's my favorite. Just like the music syncing, it's not like great editing by any means, but it was fun, and I don't know why. It's just like, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Just watch this, like. Yeah, man. yeah dude. Oh, yeah, shit, the snipe, too. <laughs> oh, midair snipe, get out of here. Just a regular snipe across the map, like I put that in a montage, like what? I was actually really good at this game, like... I don't know if you guys know this, but... Another nade. See, the nades just look cool. I don't know, I think that's why I liked it. Okay, that no-scope was really lucky, not gonna lie. And just like that, it ends just out of nowhere. Like, that was the shortest little mini Taj. So this was only like seven months ago, but oh gosh, I remember this vividly also. I tried to make my own montages, you guys. And this one I started like actually trying for clips. That was a triple, all right? Oh my gosh. God, I like making montages. It's just such a nostalgic moment for me right now. This is only seven months ago though. Like, I was never that good, but I just, I don't know. I never really grinded that hard for clips. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should try and make a montage. <laughs> I don't know, just the whole music syncing. It's just kind of like fun to me. I don't know why. This is actually insane. And then one more to top it off. Eh, wait, we're not done yet. Just kidding, this is a brand new clip. 
I like this one too. Ooh, there we go. Five on, but it was split. And we get one more to top it off. Guys, I love... Oh my gosh. This is when I had only a few thousand subscribers when I was uploading these types of videos. Oh, here's my old intro. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. The intro. Oh no. But, um... So yeah, I would make those little mini tages and then I got really into free run and that's how I like started coming up with running with scissors because I was so good at free run and flying around the map. This is when I was like second or third best in the world and I was rooting like chasing after that world record. I'm just gonna watch this whole video. I loved making these videos. I would grind free run you guys. Yeah, I was like second or third best in the world. I like found- wow, I loved like look at- Gosh, I was so good at free run, even though I could definitely do better now if I really tried for it, but it's such a time-consuming thing. What? <laughs> I remember making and editing all these videos. Oh, gosh, this is awesome. Like, I would sit and do this for hours, you guys. I would try so hard. I'm, I'm just noticing so many, like, little mistakes now, too. <laughs> Oh gosh. I don't know if you guys have ever tried like this blackout three or I don't know if you guys have ever like tried this blackout free run, but it's really tough. Especially like what I'm doing right here. All these little shortcuts. Oh gosh, this is so fun. I like eventually like figured out like my own shortcut. Like there's a little community of free runners and like I like figured something out how to do it the fastest way. Well, watch this ending right here. You don't go up, you just go off to the side and mantle for the finish. So yeah, and then I would always show the leaderboards, of course, at the very end. I think I'm gonna be like number three here, probably. Yeah, yep, number three in the world. There we go. That was a that was a nice little trip down memory lane, and now we're here. Okay, now we're here, guys. Anyway, that's where we're gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. It really does mean a lot, guys. Anyway, peace out, homies. I'll see you next time. I, I, I used to feel so devastating. Yeah. Yeah. At times I